This is Jarila Kamau Wang, research assistant at the Dietrich Lab at Northeastern University. She's got something really cool to tell you about broccoli. Selective breeding is pretty simple. There's natural variation in every generation. So if the farmer actively selects for a specific trait, that will create evolutionary pressure on the population to produce more of that specific trait. For example, did you know that kohlrabi, cauliflower, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and kale are actually all the same plant? They all started out as wild mustard. Around 2,000 years ago, farmers started selecting for different traits. And over time, they transformed mustard into all this different stuff. Select for big leaves, and you get kale. Select for big leaf buds, you get cabbage. Select for lots of small leaf buds, you get Brussels sprouts. Select for big flowers, you get broccoli. And big stems, kohlrabi. None of this would have happened without human intervention. We changed the DNA of these plants to be more useful to humanity.